Hi, welcome to Bookie. Today we will unlock the book The Diet Myth. In modern society, we are becoming increasingly aware of our body shape and physical well-being. Dieting and weight loss have become a lifestyle. Many people follow the recommendations of nutrition experts to reduce the consumption of high-fat and high-calorie foods, reduce the intake of starch, eat more fruits and vegetables, and exercise more. But this has not reduced the likelihood of developing obesity and diseases throughout the world. According to the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations 2019 State of Food Security and Nutrition in the World Report, 40 million children under 5 were overweight, 338 million overweight children were school-aged kids and adolescents, 2 billion adults were overweight. The number of patients with obesity-related diseases such as diabetes and high cholesterol is also rising year by year. Based on statistics from the World Health Organization, the number of people with diabetes has risen from 108 million in 1980 to 422 million in 2014. So, what exactly is the problem? The diet myth will debunk common misconceptions and help us understand the truth about healthy eating. The author Tim Spector is a professor of genetic epidemiology at King's College London. He is among the top geneticists in the world and has published over 800 research articles. As the director of one of the world's largest twins registries, he has been conducting a follow-up study of 13,000 identical twins around the world for 20 years with the goal of obtaining a large amount of data from comparison studies. In the book, Tim Spector uses large amounts of data and references. He combines his personal experience with data and facts in order to expose the diet myth. He analyzes the impact of fats, protein and other important dietary nutrients on health. By analyzing the effects of various diets, he discovers that many theories and methodologies about diet are wrong and misleading. He also finds that microbial diversity is instrumental in preventing obesity and maintaining a healthy body. Next, we will review the book in three parts. Part 1, The Myths of Dietary Nutrients Part 2, The Myths of Diet Methods Part 3, The Relationship Between Microbes and Diet In Part 1, let's debunk a few myths about dietary nutrients. For example, fat is widely believed to be harmful to health. Cholesterol, a type of fat in the blood is seen as a devious enemy. Frequent consumption of high-fat foods is thought to easily induce heart attack and obesity. But Spectre, the author of this book points out that this is not the case. In nutrition, fat refers to any substance composed of fatty acids, which take different forms. Fat is an essential component of cells and provides energy to important organs such as the brain, thus it is necessary to sustain life. For instance, We often hear that eggs are rich in cholesterol, so a lot of people avoid eating eggs. However, cholesterol is an important building block of the cell membrane and also a raw material for the synthesis of vitamins and important hormones. It is not a harmful substance. Common types of fat include saturated fatty acids, unsaturated fatty acids, and trans fats. Among them, saturated fatty acids mainly come from meat and dairy products, Unsaturated fatty acids come from natural vegetable oil, trans fats are synthesized artificially and primarily come from processed and fried foods. Spectre refers to fats found in diet and blood as lipids, which combine with proteins to form lipoproteins. Lipoproteins are further divided into high-density and low-density lipoproteins. Generally, the low-density lipoproteins are the ones often perceived as the bad lipoproteins, which can cause lipids to accumulate in the blood vessel walls. The buildup will lead to blockages, causing stroke or heart disease. While the high-density lipoproteins perform the function of cleaning and unblocking arteries. Therefore, when compared with the cholesterol level, the level of lipoprotein density is a more important risk index for predicting heart disease. The book also lists many specific examples which reject the claim that eating high-fat foods will trigger obesity and heart disease. 